Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese. And I'm Bubba This is our video of my custom 1 6 scale Harley Quinn action figure, which I finally finished. But, Zombie Cat, seen parts of it, but she hasn't seen it completely finished, which is why this is here blogging it. So, there we go. Well, this stuff don't go with it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just to hold. Hold the board up. Yeah. She looks really good. Oh, I like the hammer. I didn't get to see it finished. The mallet. This is the uh, based on the Amanda Connor run of Harley Quinn comics. She did the New 52 run where Harley Quinn's hair was usually half red, half black. But then once Rebirth started, she ended up dyeing her hair again. Went back to blonde, but then made it blue and pink. And her costume, for the most part, stayed the same. But I just really like that look after reading, because I... I bought a bunch of the graphic novels, so all of the New 52 run, and then going through the Rebirth run now. But I, the look really grew on me, I like it a lot. When they started the New 52, they changed her skin to white, where they revealed the Joker, stuck her in the uh, chemicals, and bleached her skin white. And I just kind of like that look now. That outfit's pretty cool. I always loved the classic Harley Quinn and her classic outfit, but this one I really like too. And there wasn't really a good figure of it in six scale, so I decided to make one. I stuck it on a bison body, and I didn't go anywhere near as crazy as I did with Tank Girl, Clementine, or Poison Ivy. <laughs> I was telling Zombie Cat, I think the reason why is because I have so many Harley Quinn figures. I have a few six scale ones, and I have six inch figures, and a few other sizes. It all come with all kinds of Harley Quinn weapons, so it wasn't as unique to make her weapons and things and accessories as it was for like Clementine and Tank Girl. And Poison Ivy, who don't have that many figures. And you have a lot of them in other forms, so. Yeah. Makes sense. But I still made a decent amount of stuff for her, mm -hmm. which I think turned out pretty well. Well, the bat, I, I had already seen the bat, but I love that bat. <laughs> Even though you stole my nails to make it. <laughs> you big jerk. I just would have <laughs> bought my own nails, but they were there. <laughs> well, she's kind of got her roller derby outfit on. She has her roller skates here too which I had to make and I switch them out with those feet I made her jacket which is pretty close to her rebirth jacket it's a little different it's kind of a mixture of some art there's an art where they show these collars on her jacket but usually this rebirth jacket doesn't have the collars I guess there's just like a zipper going up and the collars only up at the top but the rest of it's pretty much how it is uh, sometimes it's depicted with on the, I made this up, this, I put her diamond back here, but sometimes it's just blank, it just has the black and the red. Sometimes it has a picture of Joker behind bars and it says owned above it. But I just want to go with that. I didn't really want to try to make that picture. I didn't really like that Joker picture. But the rest of it is pretty much how it's supposed to look. I made her a mallet, which I just, for the most part, just to design this myself. It was somewhat based on other mallets I've seen. Not any particular Harley Quinn mallet. Uh, made her a gun, which I think this gun came with a Joker figure. But I'm not sure, but I customized it. It's very shiny. Yeah, I made it shiny and painted a... Oops, dropped it. Painted the handle. <laughs> and then I threw it in the, <laughs> the trash. These little puffball things are almost always around her feet. And the new, in this look. But I'm not sure that I really like them. But I made them so that I can just wrap around and take them off if I want. And a few extra hands. And there's the baseball bat. We had three or four Negan Walking Dead bats. Yeah, I think this was the 301. Because it comes with two bats. One that's got the wire wrapped around it. The one that is just blank and then they give you wire. And I wrapped wire around it and didn't really like how I did it. So I just used that to make this. But I knew I wanted it to be a spiked bat because I was just looking at some of her bats and some of them had spikes on it. I didn't see any bat that looked exactly like this one. I just made up the, how the design is at the top. The stripes and everything, so... I don't know. I think it turned out pretty cool. And her roller skates. I kept looking for months and months and months on eBay or wherever trying to get roller skates. You can get roller blades, but I didn't want roller blades. I wanted roller skates. Couldn't find them. There is some that you can get, but you have to buy a whole set that's like $60, and I didn't want to do that. I think it's called Roller Girl or something. But screw that. 
So I ended up just making it. I bought the boots, painted the boots, and then had to make this, make this whole part. The wheels are all from a Hot Wheels that I ripped apart, stuck the wheels on there. This first layer of silver that it's sitting on is just a piece of plastic I cut up. The second layer down here is, if you use mechanical pencils, you might recognize that as the tab. <laughs> so I stuck there. Then I had to sculpt the little stopper thing in the front and glue it on there. And then paint them. But I think they turned out pretty well. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very impressed I didn't see the finished skates. I thought you did. No. I, well, I saw them like... Well, from a distance, yeah. From a distance, but not close up. And they, they don't look like you made them yourself. Yeah. <laughs> they look pretty good. And I made her base. I just made that a few minutes ago. But, well, I didn't make the actual base part. I just made a little design on it. Piece it together, actually. This is from an artist I found online, and then I stuck the Harley Quinn and Comic logo right there. Just on a generic base. Go over the actual figure now. The body is a TB leg body. If you watched my Poison Ivy custom review, I mentioned that I was working on a Harley, and she had a similar problem of a giant giant boobs <laughs> and that was an issue here there wasn't a whole lot I could do about it because there was only two Fison figures that I know of that have the white body and that's Lady Death and Sinful Susie and they both have giant boobs and I ended up getting the Sinful Susie body just because that was the one that was available to buy on Monkey Depot by itself and I still think it works because she's often depicted as giant boobs but as having giant boobs She's often depicted as giant boobs. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it works. It's just, the only issue I have is this corset. It stays on pretty well, but I had to add these straps. Originally, I didn't have the straps. And, uh, usually she does have them. I just wasn't going to add them because sometimes she don't, and I felt it was fine. But they kept falling off of her giant boobs. They're hard to keep on there, so I added the straps. I like the straps. Yeah, they look more accurate to how she is. The only issue is this strap right here doesn't want to lay completely down, but it's not that bad. Yeah, I had to buy the corset and modify it and paint it and everything. Added that little diamond, which is a little rough. And I had to make all the shoulder pads and arm pads. I just bought some shoulder pads right apart and painted them. Added the elastic. Same with the elbow pads. The shoulder pads I had to completely make. I cut, what the hell did I, oh, I, it's actually a cheap lightsaber from Walmart that you, like an actual full-size lightsaber that you can play with, it was like three dollars. Cut, cut the tip off. Yeah, that's the tip, half and half right there. Because <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find anything the right shape for that. Yeah, I oh, painted them. Oh, you made belt buckle too, right? Well, yeah, but I had to cut out these numbers with sticker paper and, and then glossed over them with the uh, clear coat. And then, uh, yeah, I made the belt buckle. I found a star sticker at a craft store, stuck it on a round piece of metal that I also found at a craft store and just glued it on there. And then stuck it on this belt, had to rip the belt buckle off. Added some of the uh, studs on there. The, the belt I took this from actually had three rows of studs, but it was just too big. But, uh, Sometimes their belt buckle's gold, sometimes it's smaller, it's not really consistent. So I think it works. Her shorts I bought, they think they were uh, Painkiller Jane shorts, but I did have to like bring them up a little bit, because they, they came down to here and they were too long, because hers are like very short. They fit funny in the They're back booty though. shorts. Yeah. The back they fit kind of funny. It'd be better with more like spandexy type material, but because this is more like leather-like. But that's all I got. Yeah, to paint them and it turned out pretty good, I think. Uh, these legging things I just bought, they came with a set, a Harley Quinn set, like a generic off-brand set. But I just bought the leggings by themselves. Didn't really have to do anything to them. The knee pads I mentioned. The hands, I don't, I just bought some gloved hands and painted them. These I made, it's, the spikes are nail art. Like you're supposed to glue to your fingernail or something, but I just cut out a little piece of leather, made it into a bracelet, and glued the, the spikes to it. The boots were just some army boots that I painted. I like the design on them though. Yeah. 
turned out pretty cool. And I think that's everything. Oh no, collar. yeah, collar. I had to completely make that too. I tried to find bells that were that small. I couldn't find any, so I just bought some beads. And when you put them on there, it's really hard to tell that they're not bells. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It looks good. And just made a little collar out of some red and black fabric. The head is a generic Harley Quinn head that we've bought a few of, just because it's a really nice head. It's got a good expression. Yeah, but it came with black and red hair, like dyed at the, like black down here and red here. But the rebirth version has the pink and blue, so I had to use soap to get the hair color out. Then use fabric paint to get that in there. It's kind of stiff, but I mean it still moves around, but it's just a little bit stiff. But it works. I'm fine with it being like that. I also painted around her eyes and to make it look more like the rebirth version. Well, there's her um, roller skates on. Just getting them on, it's like I was saying, they, I haven't cut the hole in there to fit perfectly. They're just kind of on there right now, but moved around a lot, they might come off. But I wish, I still hope to find some actual roller skates because just putting these on a little piece, yep, right here, you can see that little piece of sculpty broke off where I covered up that hole but it's not really even noticeable so if I never get any new skates these will still be good and I didn't really want the, the wheels to roll around because I figured she'd fall the back ones on this one spin and this one I think yeah but the other ones are kind of glued in place but still it's cool to have a her and her roller derby outfit. So there's a little poof ball stuck on her boots. They just wrap around. I'm not a huge fan of the poof balls either. I'm not either. It's just, I felt like I should make them because they're always depicted. I just, I don't really like them. <laughs> but they're there. And before I put the, the jacket on, just look at the mallet. I made this out of like a wooden dowel or the top was a spool. Yeah. And uh, I had to grind it down a little bit and then painted it. And then these metal pieces are actually a piece of thick leather that I cut and wrapped around there and then stuck some more of them spiky nail art spikes on there. You don't want your spikes come off? Well, it looks like it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Maybe it's an easy fix though. Yeah. Maybe. That's just one that broke off when she hit somebody. But yeah, I didn't see this exact design anywhere. I just came up with one, drew it on paper. The handle, put some red bat tape around it. Just a wooden dowel rod. So it's called wooden dowel rod. Mm -hmm. Got the switch jacket now. Uh, the switch jacket though, I gotta take the hands, the bracelets, shoulder pads, and elbow pads off. So there's her jacket on. I love the jacket. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like how it turned out. Mm -hmm. One thing it kind of sucks is like I almost want to have the jacket on, but I also want to have the the armor on. The put it over top of the jacket. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. <laughs> but yeah, I like both looks, but I don't think I really want to make two of them. That would be a pain in the ass. But I gotta switch them around every once in a while. But yeah, I'm really happy how it turned out. One thing I noticed from looking at the art is that there's a thing they do that doesn't work in real life. And that's, they often have her jacket, like I said, it didn't have these lapels you got them. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, it goes straight down with the zipper. But they have it come down over her boobs like this. But in the art, like from up here, it's just straight down. But that doesn't work with boobs. Nope. <laughs> because they would come out and then you look at the side and her jacket would be like going <laughs> It just, it doesn't work the way they draw it. I can say from personal experience, the clothes does not, the clothing does not lie like that, ever. Yeah. It looks good in art, but it doesn't work in real life, so. But I'm fine, because I kind of like how it's on the size of her boobs anyway. What I had to do to the jacket was, well, paint it, obviously. It was just a red jacket, so I had to paint all the black parts. And I went over most of the red, because the red was a slightly different color than everything else. And then I had to take a piece of cloth and put these 
parts on. The elastic cuffs. Yeah, and then around the bottom there. And make that little thing. I had to paint them numbers. But yeah, I really like how it turned out. It's, I'm pretty happy with it. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure if it would work right. But now we gotta put the model in her hand because that's all we got said. You need to put the model in her hand. I wanna see it. So there's one pose of her holding it. And that's actually the first time that I've put it in her hands. Looks good. Yeah, I, I like, like it. it. There she is, ready to hit you with it. You're gonna get bopped. <laughs> There's Zombie Cat. Wanted her in this pose because she said I didn't do it right. <laughs> but well, I see. Just, that's what I was picturing yeah. in my head. Yes, yeah, she that's a good mullet pose. <laughs> also, this is the first time we showed her without her shoulder and elbow pads on or her jacket on. Her belt's off too right now and her wristbands. She's naked. Yep. <laughs> she often is like this too. Often doesn't have the pads on or the wristbands. Mm -hmm. I just kind of made up the wristbands. There she is holding her back. That's pretty cool. What would you call getting hit in the back? It's not a bop. <laughs> it's a ow. <laughs> there she is kind of pointing it at you. Like she's nigging. There she is holding her big ass gun. <laughs> this is my big ass gun. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think that gun came with either a Sideshow six scale Joker or one of those DC Direct 12 inch Jokers. But I'd really care for him to have it, so I figured she could have it. And there's the base picture up close. If you've seen some of our older videos, you might have seen that we have some mannequins. And one of the more recent mannequins that we set up was a Harley Quinn mannequin. And it's basically the same look that I made into this six scale figure and it turned out pretty good I guess so there she is next to my sideshow Harley Quinn it's on a Fison body which this is almost the exact classic outfit a little different just like especially like the boots are different but it's pretty damn close to the original outfit I love those boots though yeah they are really cool I like them I think I prefer to have them than the the little Robin Hood looking <laughs> Boots she usually has. It seems like doing crimes in little, like, fabric booties would be a bad idea. Yeah. Probably hurt your toes a lot. Probably. <laughs> but if you're going to talk about costumes being practical in comic books, then. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a deep rabbit hole. And there she is next to the Hot Toys Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, which looks pretty good. And I'm hoping... From the new Suicide Squad movie that they make a version of Harley Quinn from that movie. Because with the jacket on, it would be somewhat similar to this one. Uh, she has pants on though. But I think it, with Margot Robbie's look, likeness, and just the differences, I really want that look. Out of all of her costumes in the movies that she wore for more than a second, that is her most Harley Quinn-like outfit. Yeah, her, her outfits and birds of prey were kind of, uh... Yeah. Strange. <laughs> when I first seen them, I hated them. I hated... I'm like, that's not Harley Quinn at all. And then I watched the movie, and I kind of liked the movie. Especially the second half I liked. And one of the costumes kind of grew on me. And then a pre-ordered figure. Then later I watched the movie again, I'm like, eh, I don't like these costumes, and ended up canceling the figure. I just... They're not Harley Quinn. They're just like, just crazy random stuff. Like it just, there's so many looks for Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. And they just made up their own weird thing that looks nothing like her. So there's Harley Quinn next to my other custom, Poison Ivy, with her ridiculous base. Just throwing Catwoman, who's somewhat of a custom. So now I got the sirens. Tits. <laughs> <laughs> All three of them have ridiculous boobs to get them. <laughs> so much booby in this picture. She's the one that I, I could probably get a different potty at some point, and that wouldn't be such an issue with her. You <laughs> can't even zip it up. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't want to zip up all the way because it's usually not, but. Yeah, but it, I mean, a little bit further. <laughs> yeah, it, it sits funny, too. But it's cool to see them all together. There she is next to a six scale hyena. Well, in the 
Rebirth and New 52, she no longer has the hyenas anymore. I don't know if they're dead. I'm not sure because I didn't read some of the stories before that, so I don't know whatever happened to them. Their names are Bud and Lou. In the Birds of Prey movie, it's uh, she names it Bruce after Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I wanted to get two of these, but it's just they have two different colors with the exact same sculpt. I don't want them in the same exact position. And then there's a different hyena six scale, but it's very different and smaller so I guess you're just gonna have one but really I put it with the classic Harley anyway because this version doesn't really have hyenas I do wish I could have made Bernie her little taxidermy beaver there's lots of jokes in those comics about it being a beaver that would be too hard to make or I don't have a figure of red tool and I don't think I really want one but seeing how he's a parody of Deadpool I guess I'll show her next to Deadpool which is kind of funny since Deadpool was a parody of Deathstroke. Now Marvel needs to do a parody of Red Tool. Just keep this cycle going forever. Alright, so, yeah, I'm happy with how it turned out. I do wish I could easily switch her armor look to her jacket look. It's a little bit more difficult. Still, it was fun working on this one. I'm glad it turned out the way I wanted. I liked working on the hammer and the baseball bat and the skates. The jacket was a little annoying, but I really like how it turned out. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I, wanted, I really wanted a figure from the Amanda Connor series because I really like that look. Well, I think you did a really good job. I think she looks like almost like a official figure. She looks really good. And I like all of her shit. <laughs> I, re I really love the bat and the hammer. Both are excellent. <laughs> yeah. I mean, pretty much everything you made is pretty good. Like I said, I do wish I could have made a Bernie, the beaver. But, yeah, I don't know how I'd do that without completely sculpting it. and so, uh, It would just be too hard. <laughs> I mean, I could buy a little stuffed animal, but he's not a stuffed animal. He's the tech. He's supposed to look realistic, like a realistic beaver, because he's taxidermy beaver. That'd be hard, too hard to do. Yeah, I think that's a bit much. Yeah, but I want it. <laughs> well, you don't always get what you want. <laughs> but yeah, no, that I got the sirens. Mm, happy with that. There was another Harley that I thought about making. I don't know if I'll ever do it. Probably gonna be moving on to a different kind of different, completely different custom now that has nothing to do with superheroes. I'm happy with how it turned out and hopefully don't break <laughs> apart. <laughs> this one seems pretty sturdy. It's not like poison ivy where all the leaves fall off if I move her too much. But still. All six kind of figures make me nervous messing with them. Yeah. I was just saying off camera that every time you have to change the hands it makes me nervous because I'm afraid the elbow skeleton like the skeleton's gonna pop out through their skin. Yeah, and fights and figures. Yeah. <laughs> Half the time I make you do it for me because <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> well, that's Mr. TVT. And I'm Double Cat. Thanks for watching and good bye. Harley! Oh no, not you again! That's right, Harley. It's me, Mr. J. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I know you're not the real Mr. J. And it doesn't matter anyway. I'm done with the real Mr. J. I realized he loves Batman more than he ever could love me. Oh, that's okay, Harley. I'm not here for that. I just want to reunite you with one of your more recent lovers, Harley. Oh, really? And who might that be? Oh, Harley, none other than Poison Ivy. What? Poison Ivy's here? Where is she? Come on in, Poison Ivy. Here I come, Harley. It's me, Poison Ivy. <laughs> he wants to give me a kiss. Maybe we can go get married. Finally. <laughs> come on. What? You're not Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy's covered with plants and she's a female human. What are you talking about? I'm Poison Ivy. Do you see? I'm an Ivy. I have poison. I am poison Ivy. Come on, don't you want some? Don't you want some sugar? I mean poison. Check it out. 
Check out my pole. Check it out. I got nipples. Lots of nipples going all up and down my pole. <laughs> you know you want to squeeze some of them nipples on my poles? <laughs> Let me give me a little poke of some poison. <laughs> See, Harley, I told you it was poison ivy. Eh, I hate you guys. You're so disgusting. Oh, she's just so sensitive. You didn't see Poison Ivy. Yeah, yeah she is. Well, Poison Ivy, give me some of that. Give me some of that poison. Mr. J needs his fix. Oh, I got some poison for you. I could do right in the nipple. Oh, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll recover in a few hours, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Clementine from The Walking Dead, and you are watching Mr. Evil Cheese and Zombie Cat. Don't be a shitbird and subscribe already. Do it. Thanks.